Good afternoon, friends, fellow students, colleagues, and teachers. I want to thank you all for coming out here just to hear me speak. It really means a lot. I mean, not that you guys really had a choice. So today, for five to seven minutes, hopefully I make it, I will be boring you with all the facts about mental health. You will probably want to go to sleep, but I please urge you to resist because I need as much audience participation as I can get. So feel free to give an occasional nod, a chuckle when I attempt to be funny, anything that shows that you are engaged in what I'm saying. Because, to be honest, we're all high school kids struggling to impress colleges with the juicy A on our transcripts. Am I right? <laughs> so your cooperation is very much appreciated. Now that I've killed about about a minute, we can get started. So what is mental health? According to Google's dictionary, mental health can be defined as a person's condition with regard to their physiological and emotional well-being. Now that we've defined mental health, what I'm going to be speaking about specifically is mental illness. So what is mental illness? Kane County Mental Health Council says that mental illness can be defined as a biological disorder of the brain that disrupts a person's thinking, feelings, moods, and ability to relate to others. They also state that just as diabetes is a disorder of the pancreas, mental illness is a brain disorder that often results in a diminished capacity for coping with the ordinary demands of life. So how many of us in this room think ourselves to be mentally healthy? Just a show of hands. Oh wow, two, three, okay, not so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but did you know that one in every four persons struggle with a mental illness? So let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Vicky, I'm sorry, you, you have a mental problem. Uh, <laughs> Howie, it's you. Now <laughs> 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 you may be thinking, people with mental illnesses, they should belong in an asylum, or they're crazy, or they're just really messed up in the head. I used to think that way too, but I couldn't be more wrong. There could be a mentally unstable person in this room right now, and you wouldn't even know it because mental illness is invisible. It cannot be seen by the naked eye. There's no physical evidence of the pain that's really going on inside. Mental illness can affect anyone of any age group, of any race, of any culture, or of any background. No one is immune to its destructive grip. Many factors contribute to mental problems, including biological factors, life experiences, and a family history of mental health problems. Now, did you know that there are over 200 classified types of mental illnesses? 200, that's a pretty big number. That was according to Mental Health America. Now, some of the most common pro mental problems are anxiety, social anxiety, depression, phobias, panic disorder, post-traumatic stress, also known as PTSD, or obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD. According to WHO, World Health Organization, I think that's it, Approximately 1 million people commit suicide each year worldwide. Now you may be thinking, 1 million, 1 year, I mean it's a big number but not that big, right? But think about it this way. Every 40 seconds, a person kills themselves. Or let's look at it maybe in a little broader aspect. By the end of this day, around 3,000 people have committed suicide. Just today. Mental illnesses are incredibly serious. They are a diagnosis. They are not descriptions. They are not to be used as insults. They are something to be accepted, not be ashamed of. They are important and should be treated as such. People who deal with mental illnesses are not crazy or insane or freaks. They are warriors, they are fighters, and they are strong. <laughs> you should never make fun of someone who is struggling with mental illness. <coughs> Just because you might not understand it, doesn't mean it isn't true or it isn't there. Personal incredulity. You don't tell someone with Alzheimer's or dementia to just remember. You don't tell someone who has a broken leg 
to just walk. We don't tell someone who has asthma to just be so why do we tell people with mental illnesses to just get over it. My name is Sarah Manuel, and I solemnly do believe in the importance of mental health. And I hope the speech you heard today will act as a catalyst so that one day you will too. Thank you for your time.